to a special ASMR gaming unboxing video. So today, my Scuff Gaming controller just arrived in the mail, and this is actually my first ever Scuff controller. After my recent controller had an issue with stick drift, I decided to go with Scuff for my next purchase, and I'm so excited. I customized my controller on their website, and after about a week and a half, it finally is here, so we're going to be opening this up. I customized it to be perfect for Fortnite and other FPS and third-person shooters, so can't wait to open this up. So first, we have the box right here. I got the Scuff for PlayStation Pro controller, professional gaming controller, it says here. Uh, this is compatible on PC and also, of course, on PlayStation. And it has all the capabilities of the regular PlayStation controller. Uh, on here, it says something like scaphology. Uh, basically, I don't know what, it says eye, brain, hand, controller, the science behind hardcore and professional gaming. I wonder if this will turn me into a professional Fortnite player. Uh, and yeah, on the bottom here it says, your scuff, your way. Uh, there's different like analog stick configurations. I got the regular ones. I'm not a big fan of very tall analog sticks, but they do have that option. Um, let's check the back here real quick. something, I 
can actually do that with this little device here. If I didn't have this, it would be much harder to do that. Uh, and then there's this. What is this? Oh, this is to take off the uh, analog sticks. We don't need that right now, but that's cool. They included that. And yeah, that's it for the box. So here we have the Scuff Gaming Controller for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, and PC. Now, I chose this, like, galaxy background because I love outer space. I like the slumber skin in Fortnite, and I thought it would be a nice combo. Um, so I got these buttons, all blue, customized here. I got this, like, ring around the analog stick in blue, nice light blue color. And I chose to go with the standard analog sticks because I thought if I went with blue again, it would just look really weird. So I think it actually looks kind of nice. So let me tell you a little bit about my scuff controller. Listen to this. Do you hear that? So basically I went with digital triggers, which means that unlike regular PlayStation triggers where you actually have to press this all the way to the bottom for it to actually be registered like in Fortnite. All I have to do is like that and it automatically registers it as a full like shot or aiming with a weapon or something like that. So just imagine I'm playing Fortnite and I'm playing Call of Duty or something and aim, shoot, like that extremely fast. No input delay or anything, no weird triggers where you have to press them all the way down. So they're also clicky. So I think that'll be really nice for ASMR content on the channel now, so can't wait for that. And I also got these digitally. So these uh, triggers as well, these bumpers here also click, which is not normal for the PlayStation bumpers. So. That's pretty awesome. Uh, the D-pad feels the same, just a different color. Share button, start button, uh, face buttons. The quality actually feels pretty good in this controller. Like the buttons here, they feel better than the PlayStation like default ones. I don't know, something about this plastic feels good that they use for these. Uh, the analog sticks, ooh, they feel so good. Okay, these feel a million times better than the analog stick quality of the, you know, Sony PlayStation controllers. Oh, I would compare these to maybe the higher expensive version of the Xbox uh, Series X controller. I forget the name, but there's like an expensive version of that controller. These analog sticks feel like those. They feel really good. Nice, nice and clicky, very rubbery up here, so your fingers will not slip off these. I like this little like Scuff Gaming logo there instead of the PlayStation button. That's actually kind of nice. I love all the details on the controller here, of like galaxy and space. Now let's check the back paddles. So on the back here, I chose to go with the grip. By the way, um, so if your hands get sweaty. <laughs> If you're a tryhard, uh, your hands will not slip off the controller. I know a lot of people say after an hour or two of gaming, their controllers get kind of greasy. I never really had that problem, but I always like having a better grip on my controller. So I went with this like military style grip on the controller back here. So it's really nice actually, very good grip. And these things right here are the back paddles. So. These also click. And these can be mapped to, to any of the buttons on the front here. So if you want to map that to the circle, to the X button, the square, triangle, anything on the D-pad, any of the triggers, you can do that. You can actually do that. And it makes editing in Fortnite a lot easier, especially on controller from what I've heard. Um, basically, the problem with editing on controllers, you're playing Fortnite and you have to go 
go to edit, what do you do? You take your finger off the analog stick to press the circle button, to press the X button, or anything else that you use to edit. But now, I can just keep playing and just click the back button and then keep playing so I never have to take my thumbs off the analog sticks. So that basically means just by clicking that, I have my thumbs free and I use another finger and that just gives you like an extra second of fast edit time in Fortnite, so definitely worth it. I'm gonna definitely try to practice with this and get good. Can't wait to see how I do. Also, the controller is extremely light. Uh, it feels good in my hands. I actually chose to go with the version with no vibration, no rumble pack. So they actually removed the vibration from this controller so it wouldn't be heavy. And I don't really use vibration in most um, of my games like Fortnite, Overwatch, Call of Duty because I don't like it. So yeah, this feels great. Quality is quite good, I have to say. Like, I'm impressed. I was a little annoyed at how, you know, it took a little bit of time for it to come uh, in the mail because I did order it a while ago and I paid for the faster shipping. But uh, thankfully, Scuff Gaming refunded me for that, so shout out to them. And I'm impressed by this controller and the quality, and I can't wait to do a first impressions uh, try. So, you know, be on the lookout for that on the channel. I'll be testing this out, maybe in creative or maybe in a solo game, and see just how good I do my first time playing with this. So thank you all for listening, for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of scuff controllers, and I'll see you all next time.